Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild, and today I decided that we would head back out to Silver Ridge Peaks, only today we're going to be using the Hawk Edge Compound Bow, because this is something that I hear you guys request quite a bit, is a hunt with the Hawk Edge, and I have never really done it much, because I usually use the Coder, which is the DLC bow. But I see that a lot of you like the Hawk Edge, so we're going to be doing that today, and I'm also going to get... I'm going to try and get used to the range finding site because I haven't had the best luck with it in the past. For me, it hasn't really been the most accurate thing. So we will try it out. And I figured what better way to do that than on some mule deer. So let's try to get some true mules down with the Hawk Edge. Recently, as you guys have probably noticed, I've been playing quite a bit of the Hunter Classic and that has honestly sparked my interest in bows once again. So I figured that that would be a pretty fun thing to come out and do today because I absolutely love the way Classic's bows are. And I haven't really had the same feeling for Call of the Wild, so I figure we'll try to revive that bow hunting passion here in Call of the Wild also and see if we can get anything cool in the process. But anyway, we're sneaking up on this level 4 mountain goat right here. I think we're going to take it first, since it is closer, and then we'll try to get over to that mule deer buck right after. Alright, so it's at 70. Let's try to get it to go alert. Alright, so it's alert now. We'll wait for it to go broadside and then try to take a shot. It's at 60 meters currently, so this should be a doable shot. Provided everything goes correctly. Alright, so, I think we'll try this. That was a perfect shot. That could not have been better. You know, since we're still right next to these guys and they haven't spooked, let's try to maybe get this guy too. This one's at 93. We'll try to get the zero to... That's perfect, actually. Although, this one's actually better. Okay, second shot hit it. The first one went over the back. Uh, second one did hit, and it's down, so we definitely got a good shot. Not too bad. Doing a little bit better than I used to with the range-finding bow sight. Uh, for the longest time, I did not have good luck with it, but... We're off to a pretty good start. I'm happy with this. And in fact, there's this female right here that we need to take out quickly. Oh, right over her back. Oh well, we still got those two down. And that's mainly what I was hoping to get was at least two. All right, so here's that first one that we smoked. This guy dropped immediately. And wow, okay, so that's why. We hit vertebrae, stomach, and lung, it looks like. Yeah, right lung. Wow. That's quite the shot. I'll take that. Not a bad first shot on that beautiful goat. All right, so here's the other one. And this one we hit left lung, left humerus. This one was only a level two male though, so not quite as impressive, but still not a bad shot. Now, let's see if we can get close enough to take down that mule deer buck, because he is what I initially was going to go for. Okay, so, um, I didn't account for the fact that it was almost the end of their drink time, so <laughs> they're going away now. I'm hoping we can get them to come towards us. I see a couple of the does, but the buck isn't really seeming too interested, so I don't really know if we'll be able to get him, but we can try to smoke these does. In fact, I think we can do this right here. Actually... And that should take care of her. Yeah, so we definitely got that one in the vitals. That is vital blood right there. And yeah, she's down, so let's go take her. And here she is. It was a left lung shot, so... Not too bad, I'll take that. I was kind of hoping for a heart shot, but left lung's just as good. So, nice. Let's look around to see if we can find anything else. I might have to reset the time since it is 10.14 now. So, I think I've changed my mind on what we're going to target. Instead of targeting the mule deer, let's actually target some mountain goats. I don't think I've seen too many people hunt mountain goats with a bow, so this could be an interesting thing to do. And we smoked those first couple. 
This guy right here is 116 out. Let's see if we can hit this. Oh, wow. Okay. That was pretty awesome. I gotta say, that was awesome. Let's see if we can do the same thing to this guy. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm actually really enjoying this. This is a lot of fun to do. This one's 150. Do you think we can hit that? I think we can. So, we're going to try it. That's going to be hard, but... Oh, we hit it. We definitely hit it. And it's down. Was that a 150? Wow, that's a big four. Okay, so... That was a 150 meter shot with the bow, and... That's a really big mountain goat there. That's actually, I think, the white fur variation, or common, one of the two. Uh, if it's the white variation, I'm going to be kind of sad that it's not a diamond, but... I wonder if we can hit 150 meters. It's at 129 now. Ooh, that looks good. That looks pretty good, and it is. He's down. Okay, wow, that's... Well, that's four goats down. Uh, we probably deleted the zone. Yeah, we did. But I think it was worth it because that was a lot of fun. I actually really, really enjoyed that. So let's try to get down there without dying and then we'll pick them up. Alright, so here's that first one that we smoked. And it is 7120 rating from 116 meters. And we got a perfect double lung on it. That is awesome. I'm really happy with how the bow's been performing at these long range shots. 123 meters on this light brown. That is crazy. I never would have thought I'd be taking shots that long with the bow. You know, honestly, I feel relatively confident trying to take a diamond from 100 meters now. I think in the future we might try to do that. Let me know if you guys would like to see that. I believe this is the one we took from 150. Yeah, 149 meters. And it got left lung. So, looks like I've got the aiming point down for the most part. I probably could have aimed slightly lower to get a better shot, but it did the trick. So that's really all that matters there. Wow, 150 meters with a bow. That is awesome. Now, this one I'm kind of worried I hit vertebrae. And it's looking like... Yeah, we didn't get vitals on this guy, sadly. Unfortunate. It wouldn't have been diamond, but unfortunate there. So I do need to aim slightly low on some of these longer range shots, it appears. But 130 meters on that guy, not too bad at all. Alright, so these mountain goats are traveling now. I need to get them to go alert so that they don't completely run off. And there we go. They're about 100 out. And we smoked that one, I think. Yeah, that thing did not go far at all. Alright, awesome. You guys would not believe the trouble that I have went through trying to get close to these guys. And then by the time I finally did, they just ran off like that. But we managed to get one of them at least before they completely left. So, at least we got something out of it. But here is that beautiful goat right there. Looks like it was a pretty good shot. Oh, wow, it was. It was a heart shot. 100 meter heart shot that is insane that might be the longest heart shot i've ever taken with a bow that is awesome i'll take that any day the hawk edge is truly a beastly bow i can see why this is a favorite of many of you personally i'd always just use the coder but geez the C the hawk edge is honestly pretty insane all right so there's gotta be a mountain lion somewhere near there has to be, and was that an albino? That very well might be an albino. I think it is. I think it's an albino at least. It looks like it is. Let's try to get its attention. All right, so it's up now. It 
It might be a gray. I guess there is a chance that it is just a gray. Oh yeah, that's definitely a gray. I guess from the lighting that we had, it kind of looked albino, but that is indeed just a gray, so not as spectacular as I thought it was. It did lay down again, but I think we can maybe still hit it. Ooh, that looked good. Yeah, we got it. All right, awesome. So, we apparently nailed lungs on that, which is awesome, and that's a pretty big level 4 elk. That's nowhere near diamond, but still not too bad size. Oh my gosh, that's a legendary black bear. All right, well. Change of plans, we're no longer going for mountain goats. We're going to go for that black bear. We gotta take a long shot on it, we have to. So let's go ahead and mark where we saw it. We'll grab this mountain lion and then head back over there and try to get close enough to take a bow shot. But here is the mountain lion, and it is just a gray, but we got 121 meter double lung shots, so pretty awesome shot still, even though it wasn't what we initially thought it was, so that's pretty sweet. But let's go focus on that black bear. That is awesome. All right, well, there is the black bear. We're 118 meters away from it right now. It is nervous still, so we might need to let it calm down before we actually take the shot. I'm pretty sure with these guys, we use the 420 grain, I think. Okay, so yeah, two to seven is the 420s, and then the 600s are seven to nine. Actually, we can actually use these. We can use the 600 grain. So we can use the 600 or the 420s on bear. So I think we'll use the 600 just to make sure we get the penetration we need. Because I do want to try and take a 100 meter shot on this guy. I don't know if I feel comfortable with a 150, but I can definitely try a 100. We already have a couple diamond black bear in our current Spring Creek Manor, so I'm not super worried if we do mess this guy up, but I really want to attempt a long range bow shot. All right, so I think this is probably almost good enough. I am gonna move a tiny bit more to the right. Actually, no, then it pushes it further behind. So let's just real quickly see the exact distance. So it's about 104. I think we can do this. Let's get 0 to 104. Uh, 100 works fine. And let's go ahead and spot it. Ooh, the moment of truth. Man, now he's in a bad spot. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Well, this is going to prove to be more difficult than I wanted it to. All right, 103 now. He's still quartering at us, so I don't like that. Don't like that at all. He's actually walking towards us now. Yeah, this bear is being pretty stubborn, unfortunately. Very hard to get him to cooperate, sadly. He's at 80 meters now. He's a little closer than what I was hoping to try and take a shot from, but... I'm glad we missed that. Okay, that. That was scary. That actually had me scared. But it definitely went over him. Hopefully this will position him better. Because he was actually in a pretty rough spot and didn't want to cooperate. So I think this was actually a blessing in disguise. Okay, it's nervously drinking up here a little ways up the hill so that's an interesting place to drink but this is probably going to be best case scenario for us because now it is broadside so we just need to get close enough and then we should be able to take the shot i just really hope that the wind doesn't push this arrow too far to the left 
because the wind is not in the best position now. I was really hoping he would just stay where he was because we kind of had the wind blowing towards us, which would have been a little bit better. But hopefully this doesn't affect it too much. We're finally back at around 100 meters. The problem is this guy's not really broadside anymore. Which means we're going to have to either wait for him to go broadside or try to move around to get to a broadside angle. But the thing is, if we try to move around, there's a good chance that by the time we actually get to a spot, he probably have already turned. So I think what we're going to do is just wait it out and see if he does turn broadside eventually. All right, so he's at 90 right now uh, and slowly going away. He's being weird again. Yeah, he's nervous traveling now. Yeah, this bear is acting very, very strange. It's hard to get him to stay in one spot, unfortunately. 103 right now. He keeps doing that where he kind of just bounces back and forth. Alright, he's 108 now. Let's try to get him to go alert again. my gosh I think we just heart shot him are you kidding me I cannot believe that oh my gosh I think that was a heart shot oh my gosh I can't believe we pulled that off that is insane It is. It's a perfect heart shot. Wow. Okay. That was... That was crazy. Jeez. I can't believe we actually pulled that shot off. But let's go ahead and take a look to see if this is a diamond. No! It's a troll! 100 meter heart shot. And it's a troll. That is, that is heartbreaking, man. No pun intended, but jeez. I'm so happy yet, yet so sad at the same time. All the, wow. All that time that we spent trying to get this guy and he turns out to be a troll. Typical black bear though, they tend to troll quite a bit sadly. But that truly was an insane shot. Wow. Really unfortunate that it is a troll. But we'll go ahead and tax this guy anyway just because of the fact that we did heart shot it with a bow from 101 meters. That's crazy. Alright guys, we are now in the trophy lodge and here is that black bear. I'm still so sad that this was a troll. Because that would have been one of the most insane ways to get a diamond, but unfortunately this guy just didn't quite make it. And I checked his actual score, and let's actually pick him up real quick. He is a 22.53, so very, very small level 9, unfortunately, but still a pretty crazy experience. And honestly, that was a pretty awesome hunt. I had a ton of fun using the Hawk Edge at long ranges. That bow's actually pretty insane. I would always just assumed that because the coder was the DLC one that it would be one of the better ones. And personally, I had had a lot of good experiences with the coder, but uh, the Hawk Edge is actually pretty insane. It had been quite a while since I've used it and I had never tried it at such a long range. So that's really, really, really cool to do. All right, well, that's going to be it for this video. I hope everybody enjoyed. If you're not already subbed, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you liked the video, be sure to hit that like button. But I will see you all in the next video. Peace.
If you are new here and you are liking what you see, consider subscribing to the channel and turning notifications on. Also, if you want to help the channel grow, be sure to like the video because this alone can help the video and my channel do better. But that's going to be it for me. Peace, my dudes. I hope you all have a fantastic day.